Hello my friends, welcome to another video. Ok, so first up, what we're going to do is we're going to say hash include then the eprom.h. Ok my friends, next up let's say integer and then where. No, well. This will give us value as an integer. Ok my friends, next up let's start a serial monitor with a serial.begin 9600. Ok. So next up, let's say eprom dot begin. It is important this value inside of the brackets is the amount we want to have available so that we will be able to write inside of it. Okay, next up, let's say eprom dot write. Okay, now first thing is the address. It is the byte value we are going to write to, and then next up it is value. Now this value is actually the number or the value we want to put into that address ok so in the void loop my friends let us go over here and let's say serial dot print well then what we're going to print is we're going to ask what should I store ok this is just something cute we can do ok my friends next up let's say while and then serial dot available equals equals zero Remember, always open brackets over here, my friends, ok? Equals equals zero. Ok, and then put the brackets for the loop. Oh my friends, yes, yes, Le brackets. Ok, so, next up. Let us go over here, below the brackets, and let's say, value equals, and then we say, serial dot parse int, Sometimes it's parse float, it depends. And then we say break it. Okay, not a zero, a break it. Okay, open break it. Because we are going to give it an input. Okay, next up, my friends, let's say serial.print. And then we print value. Okay, my friends. Let's let this code compile. Might take some two lifetimes, but okay, let us wait. This is a very good lesson, my friends. Okay. So let's put in number, ok, I was too fast for it, but now you can see, ok, let's put in 10, ok, when we do this, oh shit, it, ok my friends, now what we're going to need to do, is we're going to say ln over here, ok, let it compile again, ok my friends, see the problem is with this compiling, we need to put it in ln, and remember this value up here is very important, that is about like 800 kilobytes of memory over there. Remember my friends, your byte value times that with height, that's the amount of megabytes you're gonna use. Ok my friends, but now to clear it, to clear everything in the EEPROM, we're going to say a for loop. We say for integer i equals 0, i, and then to 511. Remember my friends, this 511, if you times it with height, you're going to get 4000 kilobytes, or 4 megabytes. So remember, this bit value times it with height, and that is the amount of value that you're going to take up during the EEPROM. So you can use this with Arduino too. Then we say I++, and then over here we say EEPROM.WRITE. And then we say I, and then 0, ok. This I is the address for writing to, and the 0 is the value per address. This will loop through all of the values. So everything from channel 0 to channel 511 it will write. Actually my friends, this 511 up here, you can make it 512 actually. Ok, my computer stopped responding. Ok my friends, next up let's put up a delay. 500 milliseconds. Ok, let it compile. This might take another two lifetimes, my friends. But this is very important. Very, very important and very handy to log in the data. Ok, my friends, now that it has compiled, you can now look and you can see the connecting is writing and then it will say hard resetting. And if you scroll up, my friends, if you go to scroll up, you will see all the bits it has written and rewritten. Remember my friends, always have a nice day after you've caught. Enjoy your coffee my friends, I hope you like this video, hope to see you in the next one.